hello guys today we are going to be talking about dalton's atomic theory so basically this should come before the introduction to atom i saw that it was there in the itj syllabus and you can you can expect a theoretical question from this uh, chapter although it's very less likely to have it in a competitive exam so only a theoretical question is possible uh, as far as CBSE board is concerned you might get a, uh, a question a theoretical question asking you about the Dalton's atomic theory which which is very easy to understand and can fetch you a good amount of uh, marks uh, but basically you should know what Dalton's atomic theory is uh, it was the beginning of you know human beings understanding of uh, matter so it gives you a very basic idea of what matter is how uh, what what is the composition of matter and uh, and then you can you know basically build on the basics and understand chemistry in a better way so in 1808 or some say in 1809 dalton proposed a theory wherein uh, the basic concept was that if you keep on uh, dividing a matter a stage will come that the smallest particle will remain and it that particle will not divide further and since we have already studied in uh, the videos I made before that uh, that smallest particle is nothing but atom so this is a story of matter or you can say a very preliminary story of matter so the Dalton's atomic theory I present to you <laughs> so the matter is made up of small particles called atoms which cannot be created divided or destroyed all atoms of an element will be totally identical to each other in all aspects such as matter uh, such as mass and size so all the atoms will you know represent uh, one element uh, it will show the properties of that element so the smallest unit that can show the property of that unit that element uh, is called an atom so the third postulate or the third point of this theory is the atoms of different elements combine in specific proportions to form compounds they always combine in whole number ratios so you can you will not find anything like half h2 uh, or, or h half o half so they will always combine in whole number ratios because it is the atoms which are combining and atoms will not get divided into halves or into any decimal proportions so the atoms which is a whole number so whole number of atoms they combine together forming compounds they can never combine in ratios and the fourth point is atoms rearrange to form compounds in a chem chemical reaction so they will be rearranging uh, in the coming lectures on uh, atoms although I've already created those videos uh, on introduction to atoms we will come to know how the chemical reactions take place but for now uh, just the atoms rearrange the electrons rearrange and they form chemical reaction now the this was the theory which was proposed to uh, propose 200 years back but there are certain modifications which are happening like the first point that it says is that it's a, it's the smallest particle it cannot be created divided or destroyed but now we know that it is not the smallest particle uh, although it is the smallest which represent the properties of a certain element but it can be further divided into protons neutrons electrons and this research is still going on and by mesons and there are lots of stuff which is coming up uh, but yeah for the time being to understand Dalton's theory to understand the atom this much is enough now the se second aspect that it 
says is that all the atoms of an element will be totally identical to each other in all aspects such as mass and size uh, well there are isotopes which might which which might be of the same element but, but might have different mass so basically what happens is in an atom there are protons and neutrons so the number of neutrons might vary for a same element for the same number of protons in a compound and about and we are going to talk about protons and neutrons in our videos on uh, introduction to atom so Th that th that that video is already been prepared and uploaded you can go through that video to understand it uh, so I guess that is it so thanks a lot guys for watching the video all the best